Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you how to use Briar. Uh, this is a messaging app that doesn't require the internet. So over here, this phone does have internet, and we have to install Briar. So I did that already from F-Droid. This is a uh, open source repository. It's also available from Google Play and the website if you want. So opening Briar, um, I don't have any contacts right now. Here's another phone. This one costs ten dollars. Uh, I've got another one here. It's still in the box. So very cheap little Android phone. And I'm going to connect them. This does not have internet at all though. You see we have no Wi-Fi, no cellular, no nothing. So I'm not going to be able to just go to F-Droid or Google Play and install the app. But over here I can go to settings, share this app offline, start hotspot, and I will type the password. That's connected. So this phone is connected to this phone's Wi-Fi, and you can see it says internet not available. So I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to go to this URL right there. that in and we load a little web page. So this is loading a web server off of here. Now I hit download now. Download Briar rather. There it goes. Open. Do I want to install it? Yes. Alright, so now we have let's do a nickname. Adam2. Let's do password. Now this is still does not have internet access. We're just creating an account on the device. And now we have no contacts, so I can stop the hotspot over here. Okay, now that we have Briar installed on this one, no internet here still, uh, we gotta connect them as contacts. So on both devices, I'm gonna go to add a contact nearby. We can also add contact at a distance, and if you look at that, it's going to give you this code that you have to copy and share to the other person somehow, some other way. But since we're right here, I'm going to do add contact nearby. It's going to turn on Bluetooth. We're going to scan this QR code, and then we're going to scan that QR code with the other device. And we're connecting. And there we are. Now we're connected. I can say hi. And it appears over here. Hi back. We can also send pictures with this button. Choose pictures. But there we go, we still have no internet over here. No Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is on. So let's look. Go back. You can see Bluetooth is working, Wi-Fi and internet are not. Let's try. Okay, if we were connected to the same Wi-Fi network, we would be able to do that. So if you had a hotspot somewhere, we'd be able to connect to them through Wi-Fi. Now what else can we do? There are also forums. We can make a forum. Oh, here we go. We have to share it. So I have to share that forum with my contacts. Here we go. Share the forum high with you, except now we have a form, so that would be good for a lot of public messages. We also have private groups. So let's do a group. There's my group, and I can share it with Adam2.
and over here we see one group invitation. I can accept that. And now we have group messages. So there you go. All still no internet over here. We can turn off the internet here as well. Okay, now the blog section is really cool. So here's blogs and uh, this tablet is connected to me here and I, you can see I wrote this is a blog post and it shows up here. But I can also go to RSS feeds and I can download RSS feeds wherever and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to hit share and I can share it with our contacts and now get a message accept and open and look at that now we have news over here so if somebody has access to the internet, they can subscribe to RSS feeds, download them, and then share them to people who do not have internet access. Another awesome feature. Okay, so this is Atom 1, this is Atom 2, and this is Atom 3. This is connected to this one, this one is connected to this one. But these two are not connected to each other, and neither of them have internet access. Okay, I can do this uh, ellipses three button, three dot button, and do make introduction and I can say Adam 3 make introduction so now or here we get a Adam Z has asked to introduce you to Adam 2. Yes, okay. And over here, we're going to get the same thing. Now, these two connect, connect to each other. Even though both of them don't have internet still. So we can even turn this one totally off. Like so. And now, let's talk to each other here. And look at that. Again, no internet over here. No SIM card. No Wi-Fi. Just Bluetooth. And we're still communicating. So that's a really nice feature.